Time now for Dollars and Cents, where I answer your money questions and help you navigate a changing economy. The new school years in full swing and college campuses across our region are buzzing with students, many of which are bringing with them thousands of dollars worth of expensive tech and equipment. How can you protect those investments if they get stolen? Tonight, experts I talk with say it's important to not only keep safety in mind, but also review your insurance coverage. The National Center for Education Statistics says burglaries make up nearly 30% of reported on-campus crimes. It's a brand new world that they're walking into. Not only are they navigating campus life and education, maybe being on their own for the first time, but also being responsible for some fairly expensive equipment and educational tools. If folks are buying equipment brand new, so it's not refurbished, it's not a hand-me-down from a sibling, mm -hmm. you want to make sure you keep all of your receipts and you want to make sure that you cover the replacement value of the item. Experts say start with understanding your own existing insurance policy. Students living in a dorm are likely covered under their parents' homeowner's insurance. The students' belongings will be protected by off-premise coverage or contents coverage on a home policy. But this is likely not the case if students live off campus. So look into renters or condo insurance or dorm specific insurance. Be sure to ask questions for what the coverage entails. Sacramento State Police Chief Chet Madison says the bulk of thefts on that campus are bikes and e-bikes. And so a lot of it comes down to, Laura, access and opportunity. He encourages students to use U-locks instead of chain locks because U-locks are stronger. A lot of these students are coming here with, with the phones that are anywhere from two to three hundred up to a thousand dollars. And so we always say if you can keep those, you know, tethered to you as quick as, as close as possible. Same with the laptops. Computers and smartphones might have their own standalone insurance that you can get when you buy them. You'll also want to check the credit card you use for the purchase. There might be some protections available. If getting insurance doesn't make sense for your situation, Paley says having a backup plan does. The theft of personal belongings that are really important, especially for students like a laptop or a bicycle, having a modest savings can help them make it through that period or perhaps start the purchase of a new item. Chief Madison also tells me students should register their bikes with campus police. He says at Sac State they can register for free and that greatly increases the chances of police recovering their bike if it gets stolen. The conversation doesn't end here. Visit our website abc10.com. That's where you'll also find my other dollars and cents coverage. You can also scan the QR code on your screen or email me your questions at lpainter at abc10.com.